In this video, I want to take a look at integrals related to uh, tangents and secants. Um, the basic ones, of course, would just be um, from calc 1, where you took derivatives. The derivative of the tangent is the secant squared. So the integral of the secant squared of x is just the tangent of x. And likewise, the derivative of the secant is the secant x times the tangent of x. And so if I integrate that, I get back to the secant x. Of course, there should be a plus c with each of these. Um, also, um, there is the just the integral of the tangent x, which we did with a u substitution, right? We wrote this as sine x over cosine x and saw that this ended up being the natural log of the absolute value of the secant of x. And lastly, we did an integral of secant of x uh, with a really crazy u substitution and ended up with this was the natural log of the absolute value of the secant of x plus the tangent of x. Okay. Now, um, I also want to point out that these are essentially the relationships uh, from calculus between secant and tangent. Um, there's also the relationship from trig where the Pythagorean relationship 1 plus the tangent squared of x is equal to the secant squared of x. And so like sines and cosines, they're related with calculus properties, they're related with trig properties. This allows me, if I want to, anytime I see a secant squared x, I can replace it with a 1 minus tangent squared x. Sorry, 1 plus tangent squared x. Or if I had a tangent squared x, subtract the 1 over the other side, I could replace it with a secant squared x minus 1. So I'm going to look at integrals that have um, powers of secants and tangents. So we're going to start with something that has an even number of secants. Even power of secant. So how about something like the integral of secant to the fourth x times the tangent squared of x, whatever. The thing is, I'm looking for a u substitution like we had with sines and cosines. I'm either going to let u equal secant x, or I'm going to let u equal tangent x. And the thing is, I'm going to be thinking in terms of uh, derivative of tangent x is secant squared x, derivative of secant x is secant x, tangent x. Um, and in this case, with an even power of secant, it becomes convenient to separate out two of those. So secant squared x times secant squared x times tangent squared x dx. So I've got two of them separated out. I happen to have two left in this case. These two that are left, I'm going to I'm going to turn into tangents because, like we had up here, secant squared x is one plus the tangent squared x. So this is 1 plus tangent squared x, and then I've got another tangent squared x still there, dx. U substitution now works really well with u equals tangent x because du is secant squared x dx, and I've got a secant squared x dx in there. So this becomes the integral of 1 plus u squared times u squared, right? Because u is tangent x, so that's a u squared, that's a u squared. And then the du is secant squared x dx. So this integral becomes that one. And I can um, actually distribute, I guess, u squared plus u to the fourth du. And it integrates to u cubed over 3 plus u to the fourth over 4. No, u to the fifth over 5. I actually need to integrate it. Here we go. u to the fifth over 5 plus a constant. And then what? We go substitute back because u is this thing. U is uh, tangent x. So here we go. So I've got tangent cubed x over 3 plus tangent to the fifth x over 5 plus a constant. Okay. With u, sorry, with the power of secant being even, you can split off two of them. And then the remaining even number can be converted into uh, 1 plus tangent squareds. Okay. Next, how about um, the power of sine is odd? No, power of tangent is odd. There's no signs in here. Power of tan, tan is 
is odd. So something like, how about the integral of secant cubed x times tangent cubed x dx. This time, I'm going to be looking for a secant substitution. So I'm going to take, I'm, going, I'm thinking in terms of I want u equal secant x. So du is going to be a secant x times a tangent x. So whatever I have, um, I've got to split off one secant x and one tangent x. So there's, I guess there's two left of each of them. So this would be secant squared x tangent squared x. And it's not so important as to what the power of the secant is at this point, but since I'm going to do u equals secant x, I'm going to convert these tangent squareds into um, secant squareds, and they convert two at a time, right? Because we have this, where was it up above here? We had this Pythagorean relationship that the tangent squared x is the secant squared x minus 1. So if I've got an even number of them. So if I had like tangent to the sixth, that would be tangent squared cubed. And so I'd have this whole thing cubed. Um, so here with this tangent squared x, um, well, I've got the secant squared x already there. The tangent squared x is secant squared x minus 1. And then you've got this other stuff here, secant x, tan x dx. Um, let u equal secant x. And then du is the secant x tan x dx. Right? I needed a, a secant and a tangent here to be the du. In particular, I needed one tangent so, and leaving behind an even number of tangents. So tangent had to be odd, and as the power of tangent had to be odd here in order to make this work. So anyway, um, this now looks like a u squared, a u squared minus 1, and a du. And all of that stuff right there is the du. So distribute this through. u to the fourth minus u squared du. And we got u to the fifth over 5 minus u cubed over 3 plus a constant. Substituting back in here with u equals secant x, I've got secant cubed x over 5 minus secant, secant to the fifth x over 5. Where is that? Come from. So you can't cube x over 3 plus a constant. All right. So when you've got odd numbers of secants, uh, sorry, when you've got even numbers of secants, um, it's you're looking for a tangent substitution. When you've got an odd number of tangents, you're looking for a, tan or a secant substitution. If you have both of those things, you could do either one. The problem comes in when you have neither of those two things. So you come to a situation where you have secant raised to an odd power, and you have tangent raised to an even power. What do you do? Well, Here's the book's suggestion. There's probably other ways to do this as well. So let's, let's do an example here. Let's 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 do uh, how about a, a secant cubed x times tangent squared x dx. Uh, what I would do here is I'd convert that tangent squared x into secant squared. So I'd say secant cubed x times uh, tangent squared x is secant squared x minus 1. So I've got the integral of secant to the fifth x minus secant cubed x dx. And then I'm going to do a telescoping integral. Now we haven't done this yet. In fact, I will do uh, the derivation of this telescoping integral in the next video. Um, but they do have uh, an integral that says the integral of secant to the nx dx is equal to, where is it, 1 over n minus 1 tangent u secant to the n minus 2 
sorry, tangent x, x plus n minus 2 over n minus 1 times the integral of secant to the n minus 2 power. So in that way, I would, I would split this integral up into uh, an integral oops, of secant to the fifth minus the integral of secant cubed. Do the telescoping integral on the secant to the fifth. So with n equals 5, it's going to be 1 fourth tan x times the secant cubed x, n minus 2 here, uh, plus n minus 2 is 3 over 4 times the integral of secant cubed x dx. And then I still have that minus the integral of secant cubed x dx that I started with here. I can combine these two now. I've got 3 fourths of this integral minus one of those integrals for a grand total of let's write that first part down uh, 3 fourths minus 1 is negative 1 fourth so minus 1 fourth the integral of secant cubed x dx I would then use this telescoping integral again uh, uh, secant cubed so n is equal to 3 so this would be 1 over 2 tan x secant 3 minus 2 is 1. So secant x plus 3 minus 2 is 1 over 2 times the integral of secant x dx. Which, let's see what we can do here, 1 fourth tan x secant squared x minus, and I'll distribute the 1 fourth in through here, the minus 1 fourth, so minus 1 eighth tan x secant x minus 1 eighth times the integral of the secant x, but we know the integral of secant x, that's the natural log of the absolute value of the secant x plus the tangent x plus c. Okay. The u substitutions are definitely the easier way to do these problems. Either u equals tan x or u equals secant x. The problem is when you've got this situation where you've got secant to the odd power, tangent to the even power, neither one of those substitutions works very well. And so converting into this, this type of thing and using a telescoping integral uh, is the way to go. Uh, the thing that I now need to do is to show you where that telescoping integral comes from. And we will do that in the next video.